we continue with sociology, uh, we have social control, conformity, and resistance. So we start with social control. When we talk about social control, social control simply involves the use of social pressure by parents, family, authority, to ensure that the society is conforming. That is what social control is. So with social control, we are able to you know, put orders into the way people behave, their beliefs, and their movements. That is what social control is about, putting order into the society. And to put order into the society, it means we need different social forces, like the parents, the family, authorities, like institutions, to ensure conformity. So we have different approaches. We have the structuralist approach, and we have the inter interpretivist approach, or the interactionist. For the structuralist, they, they see the society pulling the strings. For interactionists, they see the individual pulling the string. That's the difference between them. For structuralists, they feel the society determines how people behave. But for interpretivists or interactionists, they believe the individual determines what happens with him or her in the society. So we start with the structuralist. For structuralists, based on conform social control, I wrote, they argue that the society is organized at the level of families, government, and institutions. These are the things that influence people's behavior in the society. So, for structuralists, they believe that individual behavior within the society is strictly on how the institutions are being run, how the parents, you know, through primary socialization, put this child into integration, or how the institutions are built to ensure that people are conforming. So that is about the structuralist. So they believe whatever behavior an individual takes, it's because the society wants it that way. That is for structuralists. Then, for the structuralist, structuralist, we have the Marxist and the functionalist. For the Marxist, they are always on, not, they are always on, uh, how do I put it? They don't reach consensus. They are always on the other side of consensus. So it's always going to be like, oh, there's going to be argument, conflict. They are always on the conflict side of structuralism. But for the functionalist, they believe institutions need to work together. They believe institutions need to work together to achieve harmony and the, the individuals in that society will behave the way the society should be. So, it's, so it depends on how we structure our society. That will determine how people behave in the society. That's for the functionalist. So, but I need to just read a bit then, I'll come back here. So the two main theories in sociology are functionalist and Marxist, which I'm just gonna explain. And for the functionalist, they believe that the society is structured based on the harmony between social forces like the family, the institution, the parents, that they need to work together. So each institution has to, each uh, social force has to perform its own role. Yeah. Then that would allow the society to be a better place. So it means the, the parents has to perform their role as parents. The school has to perform its, its role as a school. The workplace has to perform its role as a workplace. The society has to perform its role as a society. So if this happens, then the society, there will be social control and there will be social order. That's according to functionalists. But for the Marxists, for them they said, they claim that the capitalists create an invisible system. Why do we call it invisible system? We call it invisible system because the capitalists, those that own property, those that own land, they ensure that workers are separated from owners. So, for capitalists, they believe that society needs class. Mm -hmm. So, they make sure that whatever you do is in line with your class. So, they are sure, they ensure that you don't have access to land that they have access to. Mm -hmm. You don't have access to the kind of education their children have access to. Mm -hmm. So, they want you to continue in that trend that will make you to, be, to always be a working class. So, that is what, Karl, according to Karl Marx, so, for Karl Marx, he believes that, or the Marxists, they believe that the society is stationed, is structured in a way that favors the capitalist. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But for functionalists, they believe the society is structured, mm -hmm. but they, they feel that, they argue that the society is structured in a way that all institutions have to work mm -hmm. in harmony. Yeah. But for Mar Marxists, they don't see it that way. They see it like Far there is always yeah. class in the society. Mm -hmm. So individuals go into the kind of class they belong. So that's what we call invisible system. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's about Marxist. So socialist theories are originated from, I'm in the second paragraph now. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. 
Socialist theories are dated from the work of Durkheim and Marx. From, from a socialist, socialist perspective, social action is the product of deep underlying forces in society that reach beyond the level of individual consci consciousness and control. These structural forces shape our behavior and have a major influence on our thoughts processes. Marx claimed that the capitalist relations of production were the main structural forces in modern industrial societies. The way in which capitalist production of goods and services is organized, with the workers separated from owners of land and factories, like what I just said. They ensure, for the Marxists, they ensure that there's always class. So, in as much as you are part of the working class, mm -hmm. you are born, you're born within the working class family, you will continue to be a working class. Yeah. So, they've structured the schools to ensure that you don't have good grades yeah. that will make you to contest with the children of the, work, of the, capi, of the ruling class. Mm -hmm. So, so every now and then, yeah, everyone is put in their own class. Mm -hmm. So the educational system, the working, the workplace, the society is structured in a way that favors the capitalist. So that's what Marxists are saying. So they don't see the society, they don't see social control in society because the social control is simply from the capitalists. That the capitalists are the ones that controls everything in the society. But for the functionalists, they don't see it that way. They feel the society is a working place because each institution has a role to perform. And if they perform the role well, the society will be a better place and there will be social control. Yeah. Any question about that? So that's all about social control and how it shapes it. So we have the interpretation interpretivist, which are the interactionists. For them, I told you, they, they, see, they feel that the individual pull the string. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's micro, we call it micro sociologic. Yeah. So they see the individual pulling the string in the society, not the society pulling the string. So for structuralists, they see the society pulling, pulling the strings. Yeah. Like what we do is it's shaped by the society. Yeah. But for the inter uh, for the interpretation uh, interpretivist, they feel that we are able to change. We are able to change the society. Yeah. So that's micro. Any question about that? No. So we go down. So uh, for structuralists, social order represent. Now we go to social order itself. For socialists, I will social order represents a powerful force that individuals has little or no freedom to oppose. So there's social order, there's social control. Mm -hmm. These things, based on how the society is run, we don't have the freedom to change them mm -hmm. because we met them like that. So it's just to know the principle to know what is right or wrong, moral. Mm -hmm. So whatever social order, whatever laws that are there, we see it as some invisible aspect of our lives that are monitoring what we do. Mm -hmm. So when we do, so it means when, something, when, when you do something wrong, you have it, there's that consciousness that tells you that, oh, you have done something wrong. Mm -hmm. Nobody is seeing you, yeah. but you feel that you've done, you've done something wrong. So that's how the society is being structured. Mm -hmm. So it is invisible for us to say, but whatever we do, the social forces behind it are structured in a way that we don't have the freedom to say no mm -hmm. to those orders. Though we could do it illegal, we could do it under we could do it without people seeing it but as soon as people knows about as soon as people know about it then it becomes a problem yeah. so then we are not conforming we might be punished mm -hmm. so that's the point for social so people accept the established institutional patterns of behavior as if they were a hidden force controlling their actions so that's all about it so the point is things are controlling what we do yeah. we don't see them but they are there controlling our actions, our behavior, our beliefs, our movements. So this is what a structure is about. So a structure will, let, a structure will align you to doing what is right and you not letting you to understand that whatever you do, if it is wrong, there's always going to be punishment for it. Yeah. So that is what social control is, is about. Right, yeah, if, if, they, if it is right, if you are doing what is right, then there's a reward, mm -hmm. a positive sanction for it. Yeah. Any question about that? So that takes us to consensus structuralism. So go down. We have consensus structuralism. So for consensus now, consensus is all about functionalists because for functionalists, they believe the society is a working place. They believe everything could work in the society in as much as the social forces are acting on how are acting accordingly. So I'm going to read. Functionalism Functionalism is a consensus structure, socialist approach. For functionalists, any explanation of how order and stability are created. Are you there? Some consensus. 
consensus now. We're here. Okay, are you there?